already have this clip in this timeline so now let's place it on video track 2 now let's go to the top left corner and click on this fx then drag and drop this custom title into the timeline like this in order to make it visible in the viewer let's disable the video track 2 as of now now let's change the text of the title under this title tab i'm going to change it as text and the change of font to impact and the font size to 0 0.811 Make sure your text is thick and bigger like this so that the video within will be visible. Now let's go back and enable the video track too. Now select the video track under this video option. Go to this option composite and click on this drop down and select darken. Now the video is visible within the text. Now go to the timeline and select this text title. In the top right corner select this settings tab. Under that, go and enable this dynamic zoom option. If you play the clip now, zoom effect will go in reverse like this. So again, go back to the dynamic zoom and click on this swap button. Now let's play the clip again. Zoom in is happening as expected. Now click on this little down arrow under the viewer and select dynamic zoom. Now we can see a green rectangle and red rectangle. Let's make this red rectangle smaller like this. It's going to act as an anchor point from where your text will zoom through the frame. So let's place it somewhere on top of X here like this. Now play the clip. We will have a nice text zoom in through effect. Still we have one problem. After text label, video will go completely black like this. To fix this, go to the end of the text label, click on this blade icon and cut the video clip like this. Now click on this selection arrow and select the remaining clip. Go to the composite and choose normal. That's it guys, play the clip, we'll have this nice text zoom in through effect and no black screen. If you want to spice it more, let's add this wave sound to the timeline. Go to the end of the clip, click on this blade icon and cut the remaining sound effect and delete it from the timeline. Now let's play it cinematic, isn't it? Thank you guys.